Hello students, in this video I will explain you yield to maturity concept and how to calculate yield to maturity that is YTM besides two solved problems will explain you. This video will be helpful for BCom, BBA, MCom, MBA, CACS and CMA students. So let's start. Yield to maturity. What is yield to maturity? Yield to maturity is called as YTM and it is refers to as required rate of return on the bond is called as yield to maturity in the sense what is the expectation of investor in the market that is called as yield to maturity uh, in the calculation of present value of bond we will be provided with face value of the bond coupon rate and required rate of return that is called as YTM in the question and we will be asked to calculate present value of the bond and in this calculation of YTM instead of providing what we call required rate of return that is YTM you will be provided with present value of the bond and you will be asked to calculate the required rate of return right so on valuation of bonds I made already two videos the link of those two videos will be shared in I button as well as in the description box as well as end screen do watch those videos for understanding of valuation of bonds so when you want to calculate yield to maturity the basic formula of yield to maturity is remain same as we use for valuation of bonds right so in this case if you apply this formula valuation of debt or value of debt is equals to r1 divided by k plus kd whole to the power of and so on till nth year till the maturity year here we will calculate in valuation of bond VD but whereas in this case what we have to calculate we have to calculate KD that is required rate of return even it is called as YTM sometimes it is called as even IRR also internal rate of return so this one that is KD you need to calculate see the calculation of KD is a trial and error method always it is a trial and error method So calculation of yield to maturity, how to calculate this yield to maturity? Uh, here we will use approximate method as it is a trial and error method. Therefore, we use one approximate method whereby we can get approximate value of YTM. So for calculation of that approximate value of YTM, yield to maturity YDM is equals to I plus F minus V divided by N whole divided by 0.4 f plus 0.6 v right and one more formula we have that is i plus f minus v by n whole divided by f plus v by 2 in these two formulas what is the change in the denominator in the first formula we are taking 0.4 f and 0.6 v we are taking plus Whereas here we are making average of these two in the sense 0.5 F 0.5 V we are taking that is only the change either of the formulas any formula you apply you will get slight difference but remain the same answer clear in this formula where I stands for annual interest payment F stands, stands for face value of the bond or debenture whereas V stands for current value or current market price of the bond N stands for number of years to maturity. Right? So these two formulas you can apply and you can get the answer but it is an approximate method. In order to get exact yield to maturity you need to apply trial and error method whereas in case of IRR we calculate C. In case of capital budgeting the same IRR format we can use. Clear? But I am not explaining that uh, concept now. I am just explaining approximate method. We will see one question. In this question we have provided rupees 924.28 is the present value of the 8% 1000 rupees bond redeemable after 5 years at par. Calculate yield to maturity. So value of the bond is 1000, coupon rate is 8%, current present value is 924.28. See, we have not provided rate of return, we have provided current market value that is present value of bond VD. And number of years to maturity is 5 years. Then apply the formula that is V 
yield to maturity is equals to i plus f minus v by n whole divided by 0 0.4 f plus 0 0.6 v. In this case, i is equals to 80. How I got 80? That is 1000 into 8 percent. f is equals to 1000. That is face value. v is equals to already given 924.28. n is equals to number of years. That is 5 years. So based on this information, apply the formula. The same formula we have applied is equals to you will be getting answer either 0 0.1 or 10 percent. If you multiply this mathematical equation with 100, you will get answer in percentage, right? So 0 0.1 or you can write 10 percent even. So this is what this is an approximate YTM, approximate YTM it is, not exact, clear? So like this you can calculate the answer. I hope I made you understand this problem. We will see one more question to better understand. Uh, this question was asked in Usman University BBA question paper November December 2018. The question says the par value of the debenture is 1000 with coupon rate of interest is 14% with 8 years to maturity. Calculate market price sorry its current market price is 950 given value of debt is given VD is given. Find the YTM taking into account redemption premium is 10% on its face value. So we don't consider redemption premium while applying these two formulas, right? So when you come to the solution, the same formula and the information that we require to apply the formula is I is equals to 140. That is 14% on 1000 rupees. Face value is 1000. Then market value that is VD is equals to 950. That is V is equals to N is equals to 8 years. Then apply this formula where you will get 0 0.15 or 15 percent will be your answer. 15 point something will be your answer, right? Either of the two formulas you apply, any one of the formula you apply or both the formulas you try, you will get the nearest value of 15. Clear? So this is what approximate value of calculation of YTM, right? So I hope I made you understand the basic crux of the YTM calculation. So Please do watch this video and try to understand the concept and do prepare well and write exams properly. Clear? So I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching my video. Do subscribe to my channel, mentor the trusted guide and motivate me to make more qualitative and informative videos. Thank you very much.